We are into the final hours of campaign 2022. Tomorrow, voters in Minnesota, Wisconsin, and all across the country go to the polls. We're, of course, following key races for governor, state offices like attorney general and secretary of state, and, of course, all eight Minnesota congressional seats. Today, Esme Murphy takes a closer look at one of the most expensive congressional races in the country. Hi, Esme. Hi there, Frank. Absolutely. Both sides and their supporters are spending more than $22 million in order to win over the voters of the second congressional district. That is the showdown between Democratic incumbent Representative Angie Craig and Republican challenger Tyler Kistner. The district is in the southeast metro, which includes suburbs like Apple Valley and Lakeville, but also stretches to include prime agricultural and rural areas like Lesseur County. The district is the most evenly divided in all of Minnesota between Democrats and Republicans. That is a split we found talking to voters this morning who stood in some pretty long lines for early voting at Lakeville. City Hall. Yes, I'm supporting Kistner. Um, the agenda that the Democrats have put forth just isn't working. I mean, crime's high, inflation's high. I feel like it will probably be pretty close. I, I hope it's not. I'm very liberal. I'm guessing you might be an Angie Craig supporter. Yes. If Kistner manages to win, it could mean that the Minnesota congressional delegation would have a majority of Republican members of Congress. Now, for that to happen, not only would Kistner have to win, but Republican Representative Brad Finstad would have to hold off Democrat Jeff Ettinger in Minnesota's first congressional district, and incumbents Pete Stauber, Michelle Fishbach, and Tom Mammer would have to win also. Finstead and Escher are vying for the southeast Minnesota seat, once held by the late Congressman Jim Hagedorn, who passed away in February. Finstead has only been in Congress for four months after a special election. So this is another congressional race that also could be very close. Yeah, I think we're in for an interesting day tomorrow for sure. And night. And night. Maybe long. Yes. We'll be here. All right. Thanks, Esme. Early voting is coming to an end. We saw a steady stream of people at this polling location in St. Paul today. Voters we spoke with said they decided to come early to skip the potentially long lines tomorrow. Weather could also be a factor as there is some rain expected tomorrow, as you heard from Chris. This year, a number of key issues are bringing voters to the polls. I think abortion, uh, it should be up to the women. They want to end Medicare and Social Security and call it an entitlement when it's something that you've already paid into. If we don't fix fix the air we breathe and, and the climate we have, uh, we're not gonna pass much along to the people who follow us. Election officials in Ramsey County want to remind people to check ahead before they go to vote tomorrow. They say roughly 20% of the area's polling locations have changed because of redistricting. Well, we make it easy to find your polling location along with resources to see what's on your ballot and research candidates on your, our website. Just go to WCCO.com slash election guide and then stay with WCCO and our digital streaming service, CBS News Minnesota, for comprehensive election coverage tomorrow night.